Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with yet another video on the channel and today's video is all about how to jailbreak a specific Apple device because there is not a good tutorial I have found on YouTube of how to use the alt store method to install a jailbreak on an iPhone XS or an iPhone X or an XS Max that is running iOS 14. Um, I think it's 14.1 through 14.5. Uh, and I wanted to explain the method to people uh, using Fugu 14 with Alt Store and how to do the semi untethered jailbreak with an iPhone XS. My iPhone XS is running, uh, it's running iOS 14.4.2 uh, right here. I should have blocked the serials, I'm an idiot. Um, as you can see, 256 gig, you know, it's a really nice phone, but I got really lucky iOS 14.4.2. So I wanted to show how to jailbreak it. You can see I've jailbroken it before because Cydia is obviously there. Um, but the jailbreak didn't stick because I did it wrong. So that once I turned my phone off, even when I turned it back on, it didn't stick. So I want to make sure I do the jailbreak correctly this time. And I know I'm going to do it correctly because I've done it a couple dozen times at this point with different iPhone X, X's and XS's and things like that. I actually did an iPhone 12 with this method. So let's get started and we'll go through it. So give me one second. So the first thing I always like to do on phones that I want to purposely jailbreak, I always put the tvOS profile on them so I can block the uh, iOS updates in the future so it doesn't accidentally auto update to iOS 15 or 16 or whatever on me. Um, in a recent video I explained that 3U tools potentially comes with some malware applied to it and these patched EXEs are how you can potentially get around the fact that there is malware in here. You can go watch that other video it's pretty easy to find on my channel. But we're gonna run 3U tools. My computer already has permission to connect to this device as you can see the 1442 um, how you stop iOS updates is simply with this on 3U tools. You just click this button, send file to your device, and then the profile will download on your device. As you can see, I'm going to scroll over to settings, profile downloaded. I'm going to install it, install it, install it. It'll ask you to restart. I'm not going to right now just because I'm in the middle of making a video. But that's really all it takes. So you can actually close 3U at that point, and now there's going to be something called Alt Store that you need. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to download Alt Server. Click this, you're gonna to wanna to run the setup. Next, just allow it to install. Very simple. The hard parts is once you get on the phone doing the steps properly. You can, it can mess up, but all you have to do is just restart your phone and then you'll be fine. But once Alt Server is installed, you simply need to go into Alt Server. So you want to run it as admin. Oh, it will automatically. You want to allow it even on private networks if that comes up. You do need to install a few things. You need to install iCloud on your computer and you need to install iTunes. So we're going to go download real quick. We're going to download the iCloud setup. I'm glad I haven't done this yet on this computer because this makes the tutorial so much better. But all you have to do is just agree. I'm not going to auto update it. Just click next, install iCloud for Windows. And this is probably the easiest way to do the iCloud install for Windows anyway because everything on Apple's website points to the Microsoft Store. So it's nice to know that you can download it outside the Microsoft Store. But as you can see, it's copying new files, removing the backup files, and installing iCloud. The other thing you are going to need is uh, iTunes, because you need to enable Wi-Fi sync. So we're going to hit finish. No. Let me rerun this. Don't check for updates. Alt server is running twice. That's grand. But as you can see, alt store. Oh, I guess I don't need to run iTunes anymore. Cool. So as you can see, it's install alt store. Very simple. I just want to install to administrator's phone. That's the name of my phone. So you'll go here, install. 
admin's phone, and you have to put in your Apple um, ID information. So I'm going to do my throwaway account here. I am notorious for accidentally giving out my passwords. I'm so glad that didn't actually do it. Uh, I don't know if that's going to pop up on the phone or if it's going to text me. Okay, it texted me. Cool. So submit. As you can see, it's going to install Alt Store real quick. Please use the same Alt Store you previously used. Do you want to continue? Yes, because I don't actually have the devices that's on anymore anyway. So it'll take a second, but it's going to install Alt Store onto the phone. And then you just have to enable it via profiles. So you go General, scroll down to your profiles. You just want to allow it, trust it. Make sure your phone is on Wi-Fi or on cellular data so you can successfully trust it. And then from there, you want to actually go to Uncover on your phone. You want to go the Uncover website, Uncover with a zero dot dev, and you want to download the IPA file. I tried doing the method where I just open it in Alt Store and it just doesn't work. So this is the way that I've been doing it ever since. And what you want to do is once it downloads, you want to tap on it, you want to hit the share button and you want to open in Alt Store. It's going to ask you a couple things. You just want to hit OK on those. You're going to need to log in again. Um, I'm actually going to hide this because I think it'll show off my password. And like I said, I'm notorious for accidentally giving out my passwords to the public. Um, and then I'm just going to read out my password here real quick. I'm not doing any edits because I want you to see how fast or slow this is. I'm so glad I hit that screen. <laughs> so anyway, as you can see, I'm at the screen. You want to click got it. Jailbreaking requires untethering. So this is the step that you don't want to skip. You want to click install untethered jailbreak to install the Fugu 14 app. So first it's going to, un it's going to install the uncovered placeholder app. This is the app that installs the Fugu 14 exploit to your iPhone that is on the required iOS versions that works with Fugu 14 and Uncover. So you want to open that placeholder and you want to just simply click set up Fugu 14. Super simple. It'll go through, setup is done, open Alt Store to continue installing the Untether. So you go back, it's downloading the iOS firmware because it has to patch a specific part of the iOS firmware that matches that's installed on your phone. You can do this all on a computer without having to actually go through and do the uh, Fugu 14 exploit and all that, but it's way easier to just let app, uh, Alt Store automatically do all this. So you want to click open placeholder, you want to up, uh, and actually, as you can see, update on Tether. It's going to require a reboot. I'm going to let it reboot. And then I'm going to have to reconnect it to this app. So I am going to pause here to quickly reconnect um, so you guys can see what's going on on the phone. So give me a few minutes. I guess for you it's going to be a few seconds, but whatever. All right, so I'm reconnected. You guys can see the screen. The only thing that you guys missed is it tells me the un, uh, the untether files are installed. You just simply click an OK button, and you can go back into your alt store, go to My Apps, and then you can just click the little green button that says Seven Days for Uncover. This is going to un, uh, install the Uncover app, which you can slide out. Actually, it didn't install it for some reason. The workaround to it not installing it is just opening it back up in Safari, opening your download, and doing Alt Store. It will detect the app. It'll detect that you've already done everything for the untether. I've already done this part, so I obviously don't need to continue it. I don't know why it's making me do that step again. Hold on a second. All right, I figured it out. So I just accidentally clicked the wrong button. It's no big deal. You want to make sure you have this app open in the background. From there, you want to go back. Do your open, the share button, alt store. It's going to run through and it's going to tell you you have to do this again. You actually don't. Just click install without untethering. 
it's going to sound like you're messing it up. I promise you, you are not messing it up. So at this point, it's just running through. It's installing the uncover patched application that is patched specifically for your device. Sometimes your computer is going to detect a stupid freaking virus. You just want to allow it and then go through and try it again. Alt store. I forgot that Windows would do that if you have Defender enabled. Install. Now it's going to install it. Really stupid sometimes. But it happens. I'm glad it detected it because somebody's going to ask in my comments, Hey, my antivirus detected it. How do I get around that? Just allow it. But from here, you will see that Uncover is installed because the little bar is done. You just click the Uncover app. And as you can see, I am successfully jailbreakable. So you can hit jailbreak. It's going to run through. It's going to do all the bootstrapping resource and everything like that. And jailbreak completed. You can click OK. The phone is going to restart. And then after the phone reboots again, you will successfully be untethered. Semi-untethered, I guess, is more what you are. To, uh, and be jailbroken. And actually, you'll see the fruits of my labor here in a moment. I just got to reconnect to this. And as you can see, I have all these custom themes already. Um, I have a whole bunch of custom stuff. I highly recommend Cilio over Cydia. It's got a lot more exploits or tweaks on it than um, Kill Control. This is really nice, actually. I forgot about this app. I'm going to add this uh, source real quick. But Cilio is a way nicer app than a lot of the other stuff that's on... Uh, Cydia, because Cydia has a lot of outdated stuff for, like, you know, iPhone 4s and things like that. But, way nicer to use it on something like this. So, as you can see, everything is here. I just installed Kill Control. It was that easy. The behavior of this makes, um... My background is not purple on my phone. Yeah, no, my background is not purple. That's interesting. Anyway, this makes background apps, this app specifically makes background apps a lot more like, uh, whatchamacallit, a lot more like Android. But as you can see, if you want to know the tweaks that are currently installed on this exact phone, they are all right here. Um, snowboard, small Siri, which is really nice. So like if I do a Siri command, Oh, yeah. Uh, how do I do Siri again? Siri is just a really small thing at the bottom instead. Small Siri is a very nice thing. Anyway, um, better settings is basically why it's set up like this, although my background is not purple. But yeah, that's all it takes to do a semi untethered jailbreak with Alt Store, and you're good to go. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.